What's up, YouTube? NCG here, bringing you a Cyverse deck profile. Now, Cyverse are obviously the new kind of um, area deck for the main character in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, the anime. And we received the Cyverse Link deck um, not too long ago. And it has provided Cyverse with more support, um, which can be used in generic decks as well, but most of it has been for the art type itself. So what I've done here is I've kind of put the two decks together that we got, the Cyverse Link deck and the Cyverse deck. Um, the main deck is, is quite focused around just using cards from those two, but then when you get to the edge of deck, you do have to branch out a little bit more. Um, now that's both both good and bad. The good thing is because Cyverse is the main... Um, the main deck of the anime, the cards like Firewall should be getting reprints soon-ish. Um, but on the downside is, at this moment in time, stuff like Firewall is quite expensive. So, um, this is as full powered as we can be at this moment in time. I've tried to um, give you a range of stuff so you can play with it yourself. Uh, but without further ado, let's crack onto the deck profile. So, we start off with Triple Boot Staggered. Uh, now, this is a really cool card. It kind of it helps you get your Cybers monsters to board. Um, so if a Cyverse monster is normal summoned to your side of the field, you special summon this card from your hand. Uh, you can only use it once per turn. And when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you get to special summon a token. So you place it free because the majority of your deck is all Cyverse monsters. Um, it's always going to be live 9 times out of 10. Uh, and then the fact that you get a token off it as well can help you go into like Link Spider plays or can just generally help extend your plays into your extra deck uh, and your Link monsters. Triple Balancer Lord, now um, you pay a thousand life points and then your main phase you get to uh, gain an additional normal summon of a Cyverse monster. Um, if you don't want to play this card you can play the Brilliant Fusion Engine, but what you've got to remember is if you open up with the Brilliant Fusion Engine and you use his effect as well, you won't get, you don't get two additional normal summons because the way it works under the rules is you can uh, where it says you can only gain this effect once per turn, it's relating to an additional normal summon. So you can't gain two additional normal summons from stuff like Balancer Lord and Seraphonite, which is the exact same thing we had with World Chalice and uh, the Guard Dragon. Uh, and then if this card is banished, you special summon one level four or lower monster from your hand, and you can only use the effect once per turn. Uh, triple Backup Sentry. So if you control a side of this monster, you special summon this card from your hand. Um, so you can only special summon it once per turn. So straight away, if you open up with these two and another side monster, you normal summon the side monster, special summon Boot Staggered, to be totally honest, you could get four on board straight away. Um, if you open up with these three straight away, you normal summon the Balancer Lord, you special summon the Boot Staggered, you then get to special summon Sentry, and then you can pay a thousand life points for a Balancer Lord to get another normal summon. Um, now, obviously, I'm not saying that's a perfect combo, but it is kind of a four card combo that can get you stuff straight into a Firewall or can get you into a Borrelow Dragon if you want to play that instead. Triple Draconect. Um, so when this card is normal summoned, you special summon a level two or lower normal monster from your hand or deck. So again, <laughs> continuing with these three cards, if you open up with any com combination with that card, you can flood your board with five monsters straight away, um, doing it the right way. Uh, and then you can extend your plays into like Link Spiders, Deco Talkers, and kind of go from there. I played double Beatron and a one Digitron. Uh, Beatrons just have more defense. Uh, Digitron is for more an offensive play, but they are Earth as well, so they can help contribute to your um, Missius Radiant plays as well. I played double Launcher Commander. So all other Cyverse monsters you control gain 300 attack and defense, and then once per turn you tribute a Cyverse monster, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls and destroy it. So sometimes it can be a nice little out to some of your opponent's monsters, um, maybe if they're unaffected by spells or traps or just stuff like that. He can be quite helpful. Uh, and again, Earth for um, your Missus Radiant plays. I'm trialing out two Jester Confit. This is just to kind of extend the plays and you know give you more consistency of getting into a Link Monster early on um, and kind of helping extend your plays. Because he's not a special summon once per turn, um, you bring this guy out, use him as a Link material, and then you can bring out another one and link up with that. Uh, you don't have to play him so he can e be easily taken out. Double Ron Clouder and one Ram Clouder, um, or Cloudia and Clouder. <laughs> So, Round Cloud is quite interesting. It came from the first structure that we got. You tribute one monster, then target one Cyverse monster in your graveyard and special summon it so it can help you recycle around your graveyard. Uh, and then, obviously, Round Cloud that we got in this most recent one, uh, when it's normal summoned, you target a Cyverse monster in your graveyard, accept itself, and add it to your hand. Uh, and then, if it's destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, you can special summon a level 4 or lower Cyverse monster from your deck. So, it kind of helps you um, maintain your board presence and go from there. 
We then play the one Dot Scaper and the one Stack Reviver. Your Dot Scaper um, is kind of like your revival in the sense that it's still a glow up bulb and that you can only use it once per duel, but you get two effects. You special, um, if it's kind of sent to the graveyard, you get to special summon it, um, and then if it's banished, you can special summon it, but you can only use each of those once per duel. And then Stack Reviver, when it's used for a link material, um, for a link summon, sorry, you can target one other level four or lower cyber monster in your graveyard that was used for the material of the link summon and special summon in defense position. So again, he helps you revive some of your materials to kind of extend your place further. Maybe push into a link four if you want it, or a link three. Just kind of puts you that step up. Now onto the spells, we play triple Cyanet Backdoor. This is really, really cool. It can protect some of your monsters as well. Like if your opponent targets you with a card effect, you can activate this, banish it, and it's going to come back and then get it to attack directly the next turn. So you target a Cyvers monster you control and you banish it. Uh, and if you do, you add a Cyvers monster from your deck to your hand whose attack is less than um, the monster's original, uh, lower than the original monster's attack. And then during your next standby phase, return that monster banished by the effect of this card. Um, to the field and it can attack directly so it also helps you like banish your link monsters bring them back and then they go into the main monster zone so you can help extend your plays that way as well um, because it's quick play it's really really good to kind of bait out one of your opponent's um, cards say you go first set this card and your opponent goes Rageki you go cool sign that back door banish off your fi uh, firewall or monster or whatever you want it and then bring it back and work it that way Triple one-time passcode, this is a really, really cool card in this deck uh, for the fact that it gives you a Cyverse, it gives you a Light, it gives you a level 4, and it gives you an attack of 2k and defense of 2k um, token. So you use it for your Link Summons, it can also help protect you, if not do more damage to your opponent as well. And we combo that off with Double Scapegoat, because again, during your opponent's turn, we do play Topological Bomber Dragon, and we all know the thing that if you activate Scapegoat during your opponent's turn with Topological on board, uh, you can nuke their board. So it's really, really cool using it that way, but also being able to use the tokens for stuff like Link spiders and then extend your plays into link monsters as well it can be very very helpful double cosmic cyclone this can be any kind of back row hate or removal you wish uh, i'm just playing this because it came in the structure deck and it's still really really powerful um, but because you do use um but is it balance the lord yeah balance the lord <laughs> it's been a long deck profile uh balance the lord um, you're already paying life points anyway, so these can easily be msts or twin twisters if you wish uh, and then the one dark hole can easily be a regeki uh, onto the traps, I'm playing two Storming Mirror Force because it, at this moment in time, because Link Monsters can't go to defense position, it's probably the most useful and best kind of Mirror Force you can have um, in the sense that, A, I don't think people are expecting Mirror Forces as much nowadays. Because there's so much back row removal uh, and Mirror Forces are so specific, some people just don't really run them at a high level or high count. So not many people expect them to be run. Uh, and I think Storming Mirror Force can actually catch your opponent off and win you games big time. The one that Recoder Alive, so this basically just uh, turns one of your level 3 or link 3 Cyverse monsters um, you control um, and then banish it. And if you do, you get to special on one code talker, so it gets you into your decode talkers or your end code talkers a little bit more. Uh, and then it kind of gives you more plays from there. Uh, the one that Cyverse Beacon, uh, if you took damage by battle or by an opponent's card effect this turn, you get to add a level 4 or lower Cyverse monster from your deck to your hand. So it's a bit. It's like a trap search, like a trap roader. Um, it's not as pivotal. You can take this out for an, an, another alternative for your deck if you wish. Um, but it's just quite useful in the Cyverse deck. And then of course the one solemn warning because it is the out to everything in the game. Now onto the extra deck. This is where your money comes in, unfortunately, for the time being. So you've got the one Firewall Dragon, very self-explanatory, really, really cool card. Uh, the one Topological Bomber Dragon. Now, if you want to go budget, I would probably play this at two, or I say more budget. Borrow Low Dragon is only 20 quid, uh, 25 quidish, so it's still 15 quid less than Firewall. So you can play that as well, uh, and he can be massively, massively important, just as good as Firewall um, with the steel effect and go from there. Um, but yeah. We then play double deco talker because we've got um, de uh, recode as well, uh, and just in general, decode is a really, really good generic link monster. We've got the one at Trigate Wizard. Now we all know what this does because our deck, uh, our extra deck, is fourteen out of fifteen link monsters. Um, Co-linking with Trigate isn't so hard, uh, especially with Firewall and stuff like that, so he can be very, very powerful in this deck. Uh, the one Enco Talker, the one Gaia Saber, so this is your alternative, like if, if you get a Link 3 monster on board, you've got your tokens, you go into D, uh, Gaia Saber, but you can also go into Link Spider, then use one token, go into Link Spider, then use the remaining three tokens of Scapegoat, go into Gaia Saber, and then straight away you've opened up two Link Zones on your main monster zone, uh, and then you can use Spider, 
um, or any of your other monsters to go into Mrs. Radiant and kind of extend that way as well. So Gaia can be really, really important in the deck. The one in Ningrusu, the World Chalice, because he's a non-target in removal in the sense that um, you play loads of link monsters. So just being able to put two link monsters together straight away in that combo there, like I told you, with the Gaia Saber and obviously the Link Spider, you'd probably make it a little bit easier. You'd probably just make two Link Spiders, then go into your Ningrusu, um, and then obviously in turn go from there. But again, you can obviously go into your Link Spider, use free tokens, go into your Gaia Saber, then get a, another monster on board and just kind of extend your plays like that and use two Link Monsters to get into Ningrusu. Uh, and you can just open up more plays for your deck. And it can also help contribute to your uh, mutual link as well. The one, Akesic Magician, I really, really like this card. I rate it quite highly in the sense that for £10 to £12, I think it's a really, really good card and can be quite effective in the meta. Um... It's a really fun card to play, and while they're cheap, you might as well pick them up. Uh, the one Proxy Dragon, uh, obviously we all know what that is, quite a staple. And then the one Honeybot, which kind of basically neither player can target monsters this card points to with card effects, and those monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. So it can, it's just another generic, uh, well not generic, sorry, another Cyverse Link 2 that can kind of help um, extend your boards as well as protecting some of your monsters as well. Missius Radiant, because we've got quite a lot of Earths, especially your Link Spiders as well, that we play two of, that's basically what I've done, is I've taken out a Link Spider for a Missius Radiant, um, just to kind of see how Missius Radiant works in the day, and it, if it extends the plays more than the third Link Spider, and how like often I would go into a Link Spider. Yes, I do have loads of tokens, but Guy Saber there is also uh, an alternate for that, so is Proxy Dragon, and you kind of move your plays that way. And then we finish it off with the one at number 41, Baguska, the terribly tired taper. Um, I just think he is incredibly powerful in general. Um, but we have obviously Ron Claudia, Ron, uh, Ram Clouder, Launcher Commander, and of course our um, Balancer Lord that can help us go into him. So if you want a stall turn or if you want a defensive turn, um, you can do that by going into Baguska. And I think it's better having Baguska than another link. Like you could put in another firewall or something like that. But I think Baguska is still very, very helpful in the deck. Anyway, that is it for the Cyverse profile. It's still in works. There's still bits of uh, teetering to do with the deck. Um, but as for now, it is still quite fun to play. Uh, and I'm still waiting to get a deck, uh, a game together of Cyverse versus Rockets and have like a re uh, reanimated um, anime kind of battle. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, and until next time, guys, see ya.